So we see the first one, Brody. Brody has been banned because Brody is the strongest marksman in the game currently. Marksman? Yes. Can do V1. Uh, yes. I thought he was a fighter. Uh, marksman slash fighter because he can carry a lane on his own. Esmeralda has been banned for being a for being part of the meta. Even though with the recent nerfs, Esmeralda is still one of the strongest mages in the game. As well as Lunox. Yeah. Aren't they hard scaling? So if they just beat them early game, they win? Can't they just do that? It depends on their composition. Like if they just pick a, a really good early game composition into a hard scaling one, don't they just instantly win? That's a possibility. Like picking high loss. Oh, and a Barats. Barats is the best uh, solo laner in the game currently. Uranus. It's between Uranus and and Barats, so it, this will be an interesting matchup in the side lanes for both teams. Since both are tanky and needs stack in order to be tanky. Sicilian is a good pickup, but it's a late game character. You need to scale right with the, with the stacks. Yes. It's like Mage Depend Aldous. Yeah, it depends how fed he can get us quickly, right? If he can get fed quickly, then it's it's good for them. The scaling um, time to scale just gets cut in half or something. Let's see who they pick. Oh, Yu Zong and uh, interesting. So they might go. High. They will definitely go funnel strategy for us uh, for the blue team. Which one are they funneling? It's either the fourth or the fifth. Who do you think? Uh, who are the prime uh, funnel funnel heroes right now? Like, who do you want to funnel? I would, I would pick Benedetta or Lancelot or even Ling since they don't. Uh, for for now, they don't have a counter for uh, uh, Ling. Well, they do have CC. Look, look at they have some good CC right there. They, isn't they that good. A plus, isn't he? Uh, us, uh, source us, of God uh, Never mind. They, they banned Ling. Ban. Lancelot is still a good option, and it's up for grabs if they want to pick it up. Oh, Hellcurt has been banned finally. That would have been an, like, a really good pickup for them if they have Hellcurt. Basically, the the blue team is aiming for a. They're all very strong in the early game. Especially high loss. High loss can totally just destroy an enemy on on his own in the early game. Picking. There you go. The Lancelot has been picked, and the Valir. That's a very good pickup. Your team is picking. Depending on so which. The... Yeah, what? Depending on which emblem the Valir uses. It can carry the game since it's an, there's an emblem for Valir that is anti tank. What are the win conditions for both teams? Like how how do you think they know they can win or achieve victory? If it for blue team, if it lasts longer than ten minutes, they they are probably they're gonna have a hard time winning the game uh, in the late game since all of their characters are very useful on the early game but really scales back when it comes to late game say for example lancelot lancelot is only good early to mid game but like it really scales back in the late game since he falls off, you mean. He, he falls off really hard it's not really fall off hard because he can still snowball but that's about what he can do in the late game in comparison to the to the red team they are oriented towards uh scaling since they have Sicilian and Akari. But Karina is already good early game, so they can. This yeah, is going to, be an inter... going to be an interesting matchup. Who 
we'll see how this goes. The only anti-tank character that the red team has is Valir, and uh, it's only Valir actually. Be really hard to counter Uranus if if Uranus manages to get some sort of farm. Doesn't even need to be farmed farm. Like you just need one tank item, then you're good to go, right? Or yes. Am I wrong? Actually, like a mage item for Uranus. Uh, so let's chat the talismans. And we are underway, ladies and gentlemen. All troops deployed. So we have we the have... jungling Lancelot versus the jungling uh, Karina. Uh, it, it's a. Uh, it's. I think it's a hyper carry strategy. But oh wait, no. Going with one three one. Strategy versus a 1-2-2. Two, two. This would be a good matchup. That's a 1-3-1 one, one still. 1-3-1 one, one for the blue team. Like the hyper carry. Hyper carry strat. And they're on their way to their farms. Va Valir just lost the trade versus Sicilian. Sicilian has really good range, so... That's one thing you can capitalize on with Sicilian, which makes it easier to farm. But as you can notice, is that mana? Does he use mana? Sicilian, does he use mana? Yes, he uses a lot of mana. Look, he doesn't yeah, have he, a lot he doesn't of mana. Have left. Any mana left. All that's, that range for nothing. So. That's a that's a problem for early game Sicilian. He doesn't have much. And look at top lane. Top lane has uh, a duel happening. Uranus losing this the trade is, versus the Yuzhong. This is a hard battle for Uranus since he doesn't have much build yet. He doesn't have the same amount of damage output as Yuzhong who can deal through damage in the early yes. game. So right now they're just looking to farm, farm up, get some items, scale up. Uranus takes a fight, losing the trade even further uh, against Darius. I mean, definitely needs Yuzhong. to needs to go oh, now. Gets dev. Uranus gets dev by the Yuzhong. What can Yuzhong do here? Can Yuzhong get the kill? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he gets block. the kill. And and he looks uh and it's another kill at mid lane as the uh Lancelot ganks. As we look at the bottom lane. Bot lane uh, nothing really happens. Ka Kari just farming, Barrett's just doing Barrett stuff. <laughs> doing Barrett stuff. <laughs> Trying to zone the Karina off in order to Oh it looks like Looking for a gank, looking for a gank. This dive as Kar yeah, Karina gets out, I think. Karina can get out, yeah. Manages to escape. Uh, I think the red team can get a kill here. Barrett is very low. Uh, here's mind. the thing That's with sustain. red. That sustain on. on... That sustain is pretty disgusting. Look at that. Already at That's... full health. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting as uh, blue, blue team. Are they really. Is this really just a, a matchup? Much of a victory. Did they just really get outdrafted, or is there a chance for a team at this point? They scale, right? I mean, look at Karina, Karina and Sicilian especially. They scale really hard, but in the early yes. game, it's looking pretty sad. They, you might even, uh, to the untrained eye, uh, such as mine, I could just say that they got uh, outdrafted, as, as they say. Uh, where yes. in that Uranus place. needs to be a lot more careful. Yeah, especially yeah. since yeah. he can't deal the same amount of damage as uh, usual. You're you not really supposed to. You really don't trade just at that. Like you don't trade in that much of, as I've you noticed. Do, you don't trade blows with Yuzong when you're fighting against Uranus. It's like one of. It's pretty much uh, understandable for lane bullies like that. Uh, you don't trade in matchups like those because you just lose instantly. Unless, of All... course, you can match that damage. Who who do you think can match the damage at, uh, of Yuzong at early game? Like who do you think could have been? A good matchup for you, Zhongli, no. in that lane. Uh, like, Nobody. In, there's Barats, but then again, it's on their team. Looks like it's a 4v3, no, it's a 3v3. Uh, Yu Zhong going for a dive. Red team is at a disadvantage right Very now. Very they... disadvantage. Uh, Uranus looking to help, but actually just causing more problems for the red team as he goes there and almost gets uh, picked off. This Yu Zhong is looking very, very strong right now. 
Yu Zhong looking very strong as well as the uh... what what Urena should be focusing right now is just to objective and not to trade blows with with Yu Zhong because yeah, he just loses every trade, especially with the with the runes. Uh, no runes, emblems. <laughs> and emblems. emblems runes. Using uh, that spell vamp that Yu Zhong has, it's just insane. With every trade, he just loses because. Oh, it's a 4v5? What do you mean? Someone AFK? Oh, Karina. Karina, what Okay. We should have just uh, called for a pause right there. Yeah. Um, in matchups like those, you don't take trades because you lose every trade. It's kind of like in League of Legends when you're facing a Darius, unless you know what you're doing or whatever, you just don't trade. Because he has sustain in his kit, he has lots of damage, and you can't match it quick that easily at early levels. So the game is paused right now as we're waiting for... Karina to reconnect. Can we get a follow up on the Karina, Matt? Yeah, she's still lagging. As of the moment, it's pretty looking pretty bad for Red Team. They could have ca called the pause earlier, and they wouldn't have suffered as hard. Because if we had known that they were lagging, we would have paused uh, right away. And right now we're looking at this very difficult uh, situation. A scaling team who's very behind. They shouldn't be behind because they should be playing safe, as safe as they can play. Just play safe until they can get items or get the stats that they need. Because uh, at this point, if you're behind and you need to scale, it's just going to be over for you. You can't rely on items if you don't get the gold for your items. So, Could be over sooner than we thought. Yeah, with uh, this kind of uh, difference. Although we have, we have seen a large comebacks earlier today. We, we might be surprised again uh, as we see this uh, comeback. Because that's the nature of scaling comps, compositions, team comps. Uh, when, when the team scales and does the right thing for that composition, they can really win the game in the late game. Can outscale these uh, other, champ, uh, other heroes. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, they they want to play now. Continue, continue. And we're back. All right, we're back with our so, match. Yeah, where were we? Talking about trades. So right now, one big clash is happening. 2v2 in mid. Looks like blue, is, blue team is losing it now. Uh, right now, yeah, and blue. Oh, team they they got they got, the got a good they got a good same pick range off. from Sicilian. It's uh, borderline borderline. Uh, un Unplayable, no counterplay to that kind of range. Yeah, unless you have a gap closer, but if you don't have a gap closer, it's pretty much uh, unplayable for you. Can they pull a comeback? That is the yeah. It's it's the, it's the nature. Like I said, it's the nature of scaling comps. Comebacks are very common if you have, if you scale harder than your opponent. But the problem is if they reach the peak before you reach yours, then they can't. You can't reach the peak anymore. Uh, Both the side lanes are oh. just getting demolished. That side lane, though, uh, all the top lane got pushed first. I think um, uh, the Yuzhong just got too greedy and thought he could take the one v one to Uranus, but then he got ganked by this is the uh, Karina. So can't get too confident, even if you're ahead. So right now they're just. Uh, Trying to extend their gold lead by taking Turtle. Carrie is just be, being patient. Actually. The gang! Can he survive? Can Carrie survive? No. Carrie is not having a nice. Although, what a good follow up. They did a good uh, follow up. We're although, looking at so. this here, wherein they could get the clean up here. This could be clean. Yeah, they're they're getting cleaned up. They should have just run. Double kill. Uh, a double kill. It's two for one. It was worth it at first, but they should have just dipped the moment they killed Gary. 
Because the longer they waited, the more time was for the opponents to follow up on the attack. Should have just left, you know. So as, as now, right now we're looking at Darius set combo or is Yuzong. Yuz is Yuzong going to contest? <laughs> yeah. uh, is Yuzong going take to some liberties. They took some liberties with that hero. I can see Aurelian Soul in that hero. I can see Darius in that hero. I can see Seth in that hero. And I can see Rakan in that hero. Look at Rakan. See, that's the Rakan. That's the Rakan W. Uh, the, the, the Darius Q. 2v2s happening everywhere. Uh, two team fights happening top and bot. Top just gets cleaned up and bot just lost one. So it's a good trade. But I think it's kinda bad because Yuzhong was uh, kinda ahead and that means he would be giving more gold to the enemy team. But as it stands, uh, blue team is ahead in gold. Although not by a large margin, it's enough to be ahead when the, the important fights happen. So things are looking good for the plan of Blue team. While red team right now, they're just really hoping they can get items and pick, like stacking on one lane is not the way to get the items you need because you're sharing gold with other people. You should really be farming the jungles or farming the lanes. Just pushing the lanes because pushing the lanes uh, causes the waves to crash into the tower and the minions that don't get caught by uh, the enemy heroes don't get collected so you're just denying them some farm. So that's the good thing when you're pushing the lane. Okay, clash, they got Barats. Was able to Trying escape. Trying to catch Barats out of uh, out of position, but they're just disengaging. Uh, they should have went for that engage, I think. Though, because Barats continue is, to be patient. Before. They're getting the turtle. How will the red team respond? There is no response. They will absolutely uh, get the turn. Zoning. Barats is just zoning right there, and they did take the turtle. Now there's a 5k goal differential, and the team fight's happening. So. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? It looks like uh, Yuzhong just gets the pick and it's just cleaning up. They right are there. absolutely getting white. It's a one for one right now. It's a two for one. They almost got white. It's a good thing they disengaged. Can Karina escape? If they didn't, uh, though, if they didn't disengage that, they would have lost hard. It could have just uh, ended actually. This is going to be a much harder matchup since Barats already has a blade of despair. Can we check on the items? So right now, items are looking very different. Oh, gold is funneled to the right people. It's nice to see it. Carrie right has now. not yet been able to build a tank killer, so she she has to be more patient. But how how long will she have to wait though? If she has to wait too long, they might be they might lose already by the time she gets her items. I mean, couldn't Carrie just poke out? the barrettes in lane she has the range she can just proc her passive over and over can't she just do that why didn't she just do that can't you just poke people it's, out of lane like that it's not the same as it used to be the, uh... did, did Kairi get nerfed yes oh. although she's still good but not, not as, as good, good as she was yes yeah because like with with, the, with with range matchups usually it's pretty uh um, how, how, how should I say this? It's pretty hard for melee, melee, melee heroes to face off against ranged users. So it could have been better uh, advantage, taking advantage of that range. You have, like what Cecilia is doing right now, take advantage of the range, poking out those people right there in mid lane in order for them to back off. If not, get low enough for them to have an engage. It's actually meaningful. Pirates looking for poke right there. So. Lord is up and they really Rather, want to this quick. Yes, oh, they should engage. It's a 2v4. What's gonna happen here? Yuzhong goes for the. Uh, whoever that was, I can see. Kari. Uh, but under the tower, actually, there's a 2v1 uh, against the uh, Atlas, and that's actually pretty good. I'm pretty surprised how they survived that under tower. It's looking very uh, sad for Red Team right now. But again, Scaling compositions with the nature of scaling uh, comps, they could turn the tide when they get two items, but that's if they can get two items. But with what Blue Team is doing right now, it looks like they're looking to end the game quickly by getting Lord and pushing pushing top real quick or pushing bot real quick. So right now they're they're 
they're just looking to end the game real, uh, very quickly because the longer they take uh, to end the game, it's just gonna make the enemy stronger. I just realized this is a very bad matchup for Akarina since almost everyone in the team is a, is basically a tank except for yeah. she can't except really for burst. She, and she can't really burst anyone. Oh, what a what a oh, set! Looking for the tower engage, and Yujong looking too confident. Yeah, you too much confidence. Go. Yeah, too much confidence, man. But he did come close to getting a double kill under tower. But close isn't good if you didn't get the kill. You're just giving them gold. Shouldn't have gone for that play, I think. Continue oh, to push Valis the action. Out, <laughs> but he didn't get a uh, pick right there. Just pretty overextended. We're able to punish the overextension. Right now they're just pushing the lanes to put some pressure on the, on the inhibitor turrets. Is that what it's called? Inhibitor turrets. Uh, they're just putting pressure on the lanes right now. Um, there is five thousand gold difference for both teams. That was a second engage happening. That was a decent set, but Barret just lost no. the trade right there. Close, but no cigar. They can't really afford to pick off overextended people, red team, uh, right now because they're just so far behind. And when it comes to the farm. Yeah. And blue team is doing a really good job of sticking together, not getting caught out like this. Just being an arms le arm an arms reach of uh, team response. So if ever anything happens to one person who's overextended, they can just rotate immediately. Uh, they're j they're almost getting a full build, I think, uh, blue team. While red team is still uh, pretty behind. Can we check um, on the items once more? Yeah, look at that Lancelot, man. That Lancelot is already is very farmed. It's pretty fed. There's and a 2,000 it's, it's difference. Really, it's really hard for her red team to farm individual lanes because if they do farm individual lanes, they just get caught out by anybody in blue team. So. It's, it's like a negative, it's like a positive, a bad positive feedback loop. They just try to farm, but they can't farm. So they can't get more gold. Then they have less gold, so they can't get items. Then if they can't get items, they can't farm single lane. So it's, it's just an uh, endless cycle. But, look, for but look at the damage output put by the Sicilian. Uh, Sicilian's actually scaling but, uh, right now with the stacks, but yeah. Where do, where, do, where, do your stacks, where do your stacks go if you just pop like a balloon right there? Uh, Sad. They can't just poke them out anymore. They're pretty tanky already. Can just sustain their way back up later on. It's pretty, pretty desperate. Pretty sad right now. It's looking pretty desperate for the red team. How will they respond? Can they can they win this dive? I think they can win this dive if they dive the arena. It's still it's still a possible chance for them to win. Yeah, they, they yeah, need they to be really careful. I mean, not not with not with Lancelot tanking though. I mean, if high last they need to be this. extra careful. Look at that oh, set! At that thing, what a set! Under the tower, and it just shuts down the entire blue team. What oh a set! God, what a nice triple kill by him. Atlas. Uh, uh, Although they were able to push. Yeah, they were able. That to was push a very good. That was very vital. That was very vital in slowly trying to catch up. To the blue team but they're still far behind the battle is still not over they haven't pushed a single tower and they're already uh, the enemy team is the, the, the blue team is already at their base they can't afford another uh another mistake like uh what blue team just did red team needs look to at the look at barats just tanking it's just tanking everything what is that? that that looks so broken though yes it's pretty it's, it's pretty it's, it looks pretty broken <laughs> Yes. Uh, but those two people aren't really known for dealing damage. Never mind, it's Karina. They do deal damage. They just don't, don't deal that much damage to Barats. That's a bit cancer. 
So, yeah, that, that's, that's. But Uranus, look at Uranus already being a, being the tank. Can they? It's really difficult for blue team to do something right now. Like, if they do assist Lord in pushing mid, the blue team can just go top and go for the base. So, I'm not quite sure what they're gonna be aiming for here. Blue team did scale, but I think it, it took them too long to scale. If they if if uh, this happened like five minutes ago, they might have won the game. But right now, I think they're pretty behind. So the gold difference is uh, shortening from earlier to ha uh, 5k gold difference now a 3,000. It's still not enough, I think. To yeah, uh, uh, I mean one good team Atlas got baited. Atlas one got baited in two. All they need just one good team fight is all they need. But it looks like Yuzhong getting caught. Uh, oh, yeah, it was a bad fight for red team. They just need to take it easy. Just, uh, take it easy. Just keep, just keep yeah. scaling up. I mean, pretty much they've reached the peak. Blue team has reached the peak. Everyone's max level. Everyone's full item. All they need to do is just wipe out the enemy team because right now they can't do anything more to improve their chances. Right now, the longer the game is is playing, it's actually going to the side of red team uh, because of the scaling. They, they need to end this quickly because if they don't, they're, they're just going to get outscaled. Uh, though it's, I don't know how far that outscaling will get them. Their their base is pretty torn up. They're pretty much open right now. What's the advantage? Although the disadvantage, each team has their own advantages and disadvantages. It's just really divine glaive uh, for Sicilian. Sicilian just continues to scale. Right now, it really just it's really just a matter of uh, who gets who gets the the team fight right. Because the next team fight, I think the next five v five or the next big team fight determines who wins. So right now it's pretty much even. They they've scaled up enough to in order to compensate gain, for the yeah. damage because blue team doesn't scale anymore. They've reached the peak. They just need to to beat the red team in the next team fight. Because uh, they're just oh, the, blue the team just time. stalking, just stalking. Yeah, they're just red team waiting for an opportunity. Yeah, they're just farming up, pushing the lanes, the defending. Yeah, it's it's pretty looking pretty passive at this point. But uh, the longer that this plays out, the harder it's gonna be for a blue team. They should have they should really be looking to do something proactive, because the longer they allow red team to farm, it's gonna, not gonna be easy for them. I think. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Uranus got another item, which allows passive healing. Healing away from combat is very crucial, when, especially when you're playing a Uranus. <laughs> uh, we're looking at chat. Uh, someone just sent a comment that... Uh, Farming up, man. Looking for that second lord right there. Second or third lord. Uh, they're, they're trying to end the game already. Like I said, I just don't want them to scale. The gold difference is actually even, almost even right now. It's one one k apart, and it's it's pretty. It's a bad sign for for blue team, I think. Yeah. The blue team manages yeah. to. Get the Lord. Red team just looking for an Maybe opportunity, they, looking yeah, for a blue mistake. Team, blue team has blue team has the space right now. They have map, the map control the map. Red team is just con confined to the base because if they do leave the base, they could get uh, caught out. But they, they I think they can start being confident right now with um, with fights because I think they've scaled enough. Like, look at that Sicilian. Look at that. Uh, does that Karina have any items? Yeah, she's she's pretty uh, stacked up. 
I think they can they can fight now and be on even terms, not if not even actually win the next fight. They might actually win. Win the fight if uh, they go for for an engage right now. Like a slow fight. Just take it slow. Next fight. Uh, can they manage to what? hold off this lord though? But, yeah, I don't think they can. It's pretty sad. No, they, they just while they, the lord is the lord. Oh, they do. But they they all their towers are dead. I think it's just over. It's Get not. Over. It's not yet over. The possibility of the them winning pressure. is still there. I want the pressure right now on all the lanes. They, they can't the, leave the base right now. The blue team should really be proactive when it comes to setting. But they don't ha really have that much of a setter except for Barats. They they weren't able to capitalize on their early game advantage and this will probably haunt them in somewhere around 3 to 5 minutes. See how this goes. Not yet. Not yet, dude. Oh! Karina has a rock potion. Interesting. Well, she she's the squishiest one out of them all and she just wants to survive the next fight or survive Pokey, you know. She doesn't she doesn't I, you don't want you don't want to be the one dealing all the damage in the team, but at the same time a little bit of a burst just kills you in one shot. But yeah. that's that helps, but how how far will it take her? I, I, I wonder. Athena shield for Lancelot. Is magic is magic damage a problem? In in their for the red team. A Sicilian. The Sicilian. Right, right. Looking for taking their Super, sweet time for I the red mean, team. Yeah. Blue, both teams are boss. No. Boss. boss. Any updates from the teams? The limit for the boss is 30 minutes. No, like he's asking how many times can they ask for a boss? Not how long they can boss. <laughs> I think it's in infinite. It's gonna take a it's gonna take a while. This is fine. This lag was sponsored by PLDT.
G na daw. G? Yeah, yeah, yeah. G, G dan. And we're back! Right, so... Where were we? Yeah, they're just waiting for mistakes to happen. Uh, both teams right now. And... Yeah, they're pretty much all scaled Blue up. Blue team is at 69k, nice. Uh, I think they've all scaled up. I think everyone's at full item, so... Just down to... Down to the next team fight, I guess. How much more can... Sicilian... Go? Like, how strong can he... Become stick ours to one hit, one hit a lord. Oh, what, what? Nothing's really happening right now. Uh, they're just waiting for well, both are just to be passive. Everyone's just waiting for something to happen. Nothing's really happening. Everyone's a full item. The problem is, there's, there's not. There's no good setter for the blue team, and the red team has a setter. But if if but if the setter fails, they all die. Yeah. It's, uh, the the something. Everyone here has. Can we check on the items once more? Yeah, I think every yeah everyone, everyone is at full. full item. So that's a full item. Much down to the next fight. Plus lords coming. And, and they're uh, taking advantage of the lord. I mean, is red team going to respond? No, I don't think they can respond. They're pretty much focusing on preventing the waves from catching the tower because of the amount of pressure they Still a possibility of them stealing it, but then. Uh, never mind. Lord has been safe. Nothing, nothing really. What can, what can red team do? I think I think they can actually win fights now because they've scaled. If they take fights, actually, but everyone's already like they're playing too safe. I think they're just playing it safe. Yeah. They they really want to win. Whoa! Wait, Barats is small. Uh, not Barats much is... defense. There's Barats not is going in. Yeah, they're just splitting, splitting. The Barats, fighters. Barats has not yeah, stacked. Yeah, I, think, I think it's over for red team. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, yeah. They're just getting dived. But will the Lord Oh Oh Yeah red team might win this but the Lord is just hitting the base right now and it's over. Red team has lost No Not it's yet not over. It's not it's over, not over. It's <laughs> not over <laughs> The show, the show the goes base. on Ladies and gentlemen They should have just went for the base if they wanted to win well, what's up with all the dramatic player? <laughs> oh, that, that was pretty... Isang one hit na lang! That, that was very Sayang. unfortunate for blue team. They could have just won if they went for the base. Isang very one hit na lang! Sicilian though, uh, dealing so much damage now. Like, they just see the amount of uh, AOE that Sicilian just did. OMG, ang lag. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by PLDT. The best uh, broadband. broadband. So network. while we're waiting for something to happen, Jed, uh, why don't we thank our actual sponsors? Okay, let's go back to thanking our sponsors. We would like to thank the sponsors Cafe Majesty, Hada Aesthetic and Acne Skincare, Planet Bohol, Shang Palace Seafood and Restaurant. Sam Gyup Express Bohol, Bohol B Farm, TUF Barbershop Bohol, Karak Chai Coffee, Tea and More, McDonald's JA Clarine, and Charms Beauty Avenue. Thank you for sponsoring our foundation days. And still nothing happened. Yeah, oh, that, that sponsor break and still... Oh, Atlas? Atlas not going in. It's not worth it. Continues Maybe. to play safe. Game this this game is getting too long now for uh, for an ML game. Thirty minutes for an ML game. It's pretty interesting. I, they're all just scared because if one yeah, dies, one, one mistake, they, one mistake, they they just capitulated. For both teams, was not able to capitalize on their early game. Now it's a hard. It's a hard. It's going to be a hard battle game. for the blue team. For the blue team. 
they, they were just stomping on red team in the early game. Now it's hard for them to look for an engage. But you know they could have they could go for another dive like earlier, and if if they do go for that another dive like that and just go for the base, I think they win. I think Uranus can tank the attacks of the blue team, but I'm not sure what what's going on. No, like I mean, if blue team just went for what they did earlier, like just go straight for the base and dive. Because that, because remember, blue team does not have any sort of late game oh, yeah. heroes here. I'm thinking about uh, like a huge on like going in dragon form, you know. Yeah, that was a perfect dragon, uh, dragon ultimate for using earlier when they tried to push the tower, but it it was to no avail. Yeah. And we're back to square one with the base of uh, base of and the red team it's, almost at full. It's the fourth. It's the fourth lord. It's the fourth lord, I think. And the blue, no the red red team is still not attacking like no they're, no they're just risk. they're just playing to their advantages they, they know they've scaled enough that if they fight on their base they don't win so they're just taking that to heart and going for letting them take lord cuz they know that Sicilian can take down lord easily and because Sicilian can take down lord lord easily it's we're not, not a problem we're now at the 30 minute mark Pretty long game. Everyone on the uh, blue team just bought uh, the yellow potion, <laughs> anticipating, preparing for the fight. You know, trying to get some more survivability uh, to improve their chances for the dive. Because yeah, I think that really tells us that they're planning to dive right now. Like look at that, they're all post posted up so close to. This this lord is a make or break for each teams. Let's yeah. see how this goes. Let's just watch this. A failed as... ultimate for for Barats. What a set by Atlas. They go for the dive. Uh, oh, a kill. Down for the blue team. But the no, this is not enough. Gg. Is, it's GG. is it Gg? No, no it's, not GG. it's not yet Gg. It's what? not yet Gg. If it works, is it gonna be a wipe? Is it gonna be a blue team wipe? Blue team is gonna get the wipe. No. Is it time for them to finally dive? No. Oh, oh the base. Look at the base. The base is so low. It's, it's a one hit na lang. <laughs> no. GG. <laughs> it's over. It's over. What a thrilling game from the from uh Hermski's Esports and uh Tito Team Tito 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 Fam rather. Uh, that was a very long and uh, drawn out game. Drawn out but game. Both sides. Uh, Red team really played. Uh, their hardest right there, and if they did win that that last team fight, if they had enough HP for the, the, the their base, they would have won. They would have wiped the enemy team. No, uh, team. If only you know, blue team could have won much easier if they ended early, like early. They could have just went for base earlier because they were way ahead. Anyways, so, and uh, any update, Mister, uh, Mister Director? Uh, tournament director. So we we just received word that uh, intoxicated and team altered are currently in the game. That's that's for the losers bracket, and I believe we can't uh, go for that because they have already started. So, looking at the scoreboard right now, it's Alter 